Hi everyone, I'm back with another video on sets. So let's see, in a survey, 100 people were asked to say which of three activities they enjoyed doing. The three activities were listening to music, reading and walking. The results showed that number of L intersection R intersection W, that is music, reading and walking were seven and uh, walking reading and who did not take music was 25 and walking and music and who did not read were 20 and reading and who did not take music and did not walk were four number of people like four who took music and uh, reading union uh, walking not that means who did not do reading and walking equals nine and let's see the information from the survey is shown in a venn diagram the venn diagram has been stated below and we need to fill up the venn diagram so i'll just explain what the number 15 in the venn diagram represents and complete the venn diagram so let's see all right so it's given that number of people who like music only and reading and walking no reading and walking as total number is nine all right and the number of people who only read that's it is number four the number of people who only read and does not like music and walking that's number four which we have written all right the number of people who goes for walking is not known but we are going to solve that that's x and the number of people who like all the three music reading and white uh, walking is seven yes and the number of people who like walking and reading but not music is 25 and the number of people who like walking and music but not reading is 20 so that's what we have filled the uh, venn diagram now the question is work out the value of x this is x which is unknown this is x which is unknown and how do we find that i've already found and written for you in the venn diagram that it is 10 but how did we find that it is 10 all right the first question here was what, uh, what the number 15 in the Venn diagram represents. So the number 15 in the Venn diagram is the one like the number of people in the survey who do not enjoy any of the activities, neither music, neither reading, neither walking. So that's your answer. Then we completed the Venn diagram, then work out the value of X. All right. So let's see. We can all we can add up all the numbers together and the total people were equal to 100 so we are just going to equate that to 100 so let's see so we have uh, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me. all right all right or i'll just do it here itself so i can just add up all the numbers that's nine plus four plus 20 plus 7 plus 25 plus x plus x plus 15 and we should not forget this one plus 15 plus 15 equals 100 so now if we'll solve for x that's 2x plus 9 plus 4 plus 20 plus 7 plus 25 plus 15 equals Hundred. So when we solve for x, that's just two x equals twenty, and x equals ten. So we get the value of x as ten and ten. All right. Now question number D says find the number of people in the survey who enjoy reading. So the people who enjoy reading are how many? So, the people who enjoy the reading, that means you need to add up 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 25. 
right so we'll, i'll just write down here the people who enjoy reading are 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 25 and that's equal to 46 46 people enjoy reading enjoy only one of the three activities that means how many enjoy one of the three activities like nine enjoy only music four enjoy only reading and ten enjoy only walking so we can add up all the three so that is nine plus four plus ten equals to 23 people 23 people enjoy one of the three activities enjoy reading and walking but do not enjoy listening to music okay enjoy reading and walking enjoy reading and walking but does not enjoy listening to music so you just eliminate that so it's 25 so 25 people enjoy reading and walking but they don't enjoy listening to music that's your answer all right guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment it in the comment box thank you so much bye bye take care